Hi, welcome. Now I am going to show you in pivot tables how to get uh, frequency distribution or the class intervals. Uh, okay. So what I have is the product uh, and the customer category, country and the four uh, months uh, sales for each product. Okay. I have about 277 records. Okay. So I'm going to use this one and get the class intervals. How can I do that? Okay. I want the class intervals for the uh, sales because class intervals for uh, the numbers. Okay. So I want the frequency distribution. Okay. So how can I have it? Uh, okay. Now I have I just uh, select all the columns are only for the January. Okay. I just select all and insert pivot table since I selected so the table range for my source data is already given here okay columns A to dollar uh, H if you didn't uh, select it then you must press and go and select the data okay like this then again uh, click then you will come to the same uh, same uh, pop-up uh, window okay then now you have choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed okay probably this time I will use a new worksheet okay press ok in the new worksheet you can able to see it is coming up with the area of uh, pivot table area and all the fields is available here okay so in this field so you can select it from the pivot tables fields pan this is a pivot table fields pan and from the pan you select and put it into your columns rows or uh, what are the columns needs to be calculated for summation values and filters okay so now what i'm going to do is i want the january as rows okay what i have you can see here it's a lot of uh, values are here okay so what i want to do is that uh, i want the january's uh, count you can see here each value appears only once okay so now my my question here is that is it possible to make this one into intervals of 100 the value of 100 the class interval can i able to do that yes you can able to do that how can i do that right click go to the group in the group you can see the starting value is zero and the ending value is the biggest number you want by each group to be by 100 press ok you can able to see the count of jan is changed and you can see the number of uh, sales from zero to 100 is 223 records okay from 100 to 200 is 17 records okay 200 to 300 is 11 records okay so this way you can able to do the uh, class intervals okay this class intervals are of 100 you want it for group want it for uh, zero you want it for thousand you can able to do that by thousand see 271 is up to thousand thousand to two thousand is five two thousand to three thousand is only one okay this way you can make your class intervals for any numeric value and uh, uh, the frequency distribution is available here okay so how can you read it how many records the counts of of sales falling from 0 to 
thousand. Okay, falling from zero to thousand is two seventy one. Okay, thousand to two thousand is five. Two thousand to three thousand is one. Okay. Okay. This way you can make uh, class intervals in uh, numerical values in uh, pivot tables. Okay. Hope my video is helpful to you. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. It's already popping up. The Alan Sam logo is already popping up in the uh, video itself. And uh, God bless you.